Hey guys, in this new video, we're going to take a look at Hess's Law, at least kind of. Now, we're going to say that when it comes to Hess's Law, we learn that the total enthalpy change, so total delta H, of a reaction by taking into account each individual step. Now we're going to do the same exact thing, except instead of using delta H, we're going to use our equilibrium constant K. So pay very close attention to what I do here for these two particular examples. Now we're going to say the equilibrium constant for the reaction, this reaction here, is 6.83 times 10 to the negative 12 at 1000 Kelvin. Now I'm asking you to find a new K for this new reaction. Now what you should realize here is that both of these reactions are the same. They both have CO2, they both have CO, they both have O2. They're the same exact equation. The only difference here is I changed and manipulated the one on the top so that it now looks like this one. So what we have to figure out is what changes that I do and what effect will that have on the equilibrium constant K. So we're going to say first CO2 was a reactant but now it's a product. These guys were products now they're reactants. So it looks like I reversed the reaction. And just realize, when I reverse a reaction, K becomes the reciprocal. So K was 6.83 times 10 to the negative 12. Well, now it becomes 1 over 6.83 times 10 to the negative 12. It becomes the reciprocal of whatever it was. Now, that's one change that I did. The other change that I did, it looks like I multiplied by 4. Because here, this CO2 has a 4 now, this CO has a 4 now, and when we do 4 times a half, the 2 cancels out with this 4, and that's how we got this 2 here. Now, when you multiply by a number, that number becomes the power. So this is going to become to the fourth. So it's going to become 1 over 6.83 times 10 to the negative 12 to the fourth. Okay, so when you multiply by a number, it becomes a power. So what we're going to do here is just solve for what's inside first. 1 over 6.83 times 10 to the negative 12. That gives us 1.46 times 10 to the negative 11. Well, actually to the positive 11. And now that's to the fourth. So that's going to give me 4.60 times 10 to the 44. Okay. So that will be our answer here. So remember, if you reverse the reaction, then we're going to say that becomes the reciprocal 1 over whatever. When we multiply by a number, that's going to become the power. You multiply by 5, it becomes the power 5. Let's say we divide it by a number. Let's say we divide it by 3. Well, just remember, if you're dividing by 3, that is the same as multiplying by 1 third. And if you're multiplying by 1 third, then 1 third becomes the power. Let's say you had to divide by 2. If you're dividing by 2, that's the same thing as multiply by a half. Okay. And in that way, half becomes the power. Okay, so that's how we get around the dividing aspect of this.